Lordy, 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 Miss Claudia. Yeah, you sure look good to me. Please don't excite me, baby. I know it can't be me. Well, I give you all my money, but you just won't treat me right. You like the ball every morning, don't come home till late at night. I wanna tell everybody, and I swear what you've been doing to me. I wanna tell everybody I'm in misery. I was saddled with the name Georgie Fame by the impresario Larry Palms. And when I protested, I said, like, what's wrong with your real name? He said, if you don't use my name, I won't use you in my show. And I needed the gig. <laughs> well, back in 1960, Larry Palms brought over two great American rock and rollers, Gene Vincent and Eddie Cochran. Um, to do a tour. I was a 16-year-old piano player on that tour. There was another band on that tour called Nero and the Gladiators. Um, Eddie Cochran was tragically killed after we'd just finished a week at the Bristol Hippodrome. And I've always said uh, that, in my opinion, Eddie Cochran was singularly responsible for introducing the music of Ray Charles to the masses of this country on that tour. He did a fantastic version of What Did I Say?, and also, hallelujah, I love a soul. And in tribute to Eddie Cochran, we'd like to play a Ray Charles composition for you. Would you please welcome Tristan Powell on guitar and his brother James on the drums. <laughs> welcome Alec Dagworth on the bass. Anthony Kerr on the vibraphone. On the tenor saxophone, Alan Skidmore. On the trumpet, Guy Barker. The line is so busy. I'm feeling so dizzy I'm weeping and wailing And I'm ready Get on the right track, baby Get on the right track, baby Get on the right track, baby Come along home Treat me wrong again Get on the right track, baby Get on the right track, baby 
Get on the right track, baby. I said, come on home, treat me wrong again. Stay. Get on the right track, baby. Get on the right track, baby. Get on the right track, baby. I said, come on home. Treat me wrong again. In 1961, we were out of work for a while, and one of my oldest friends, Mike O'Neill, uh, who had this band, Neil and the Gladiators, um, he let me uh, sleep in his flat in Old Compton Street, Soho, for several weeks while we were looking for work. And he had a, a, a terrific influence on my jazz education, because during this out of work period, um, I listened to Mike's records all the time. But more importantly, Mike took me around the corner to a jazz club in uh, Water Street and introduced me to the guy that was running the place who later became my manager. His name was Rick Gunnell. And that club was called the Flamingo. And we got the residency in March 1962. And we stayed for th over three years. And one of the first people I met down the Flamingo Club was a man by the name of Nimoy Speedy Akwe. He was from Ghana. And he walked into the band room with his conga drum. I wouldn't tell you what was inside it, but he, he got the gig. <clears throat> and Speedy introduced me to uh, uh, West African music, which I love dearly. Um, and this song of mine is dedicated to Nimoy Speedy Akwe. Ojo. Ojo, the first real African we know. An upstairs room in Princess Square, along the Moscow Road. Alexis lived around the corner. At the time, we didn't know. Mama, see my Chewing sticks and Gary with Nkuma on the rise. 
Cap K installed as minister. The limo parked outside. Jamba. 25 pound a weight. Mold the ting and blow. Mama, she ma go, ma go, ma go.
Thank you. God bless uh, Speedy Aque. Uh, the flamingo, the clientele of the flamingo was really fantastic. It was like, you know, a lot of West Indians, pimps, prostitutes, late night people, people that worked in other clubs until 3 o'clock in the morning, then they come down to Flamingo until 6 o'clock till we stopped playing. And a lot of great American GIs that were stationed over here in the U.S. Air Force. A lot of those GIs used to get up and sing in the band. People like Ronnie Jones. But the most famous one of all, who was stationed at a U.S. Air Force base, Bent Waters, and is here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Gino Washington. Oh, man, thank God that a lot of these people stayed over here. They, they knew it was cool over here. Yeah, man. But thanks to the West Indian contingent, I got to hear and play a lot of ska, as it was then. Ska, man. And I'd like to introduce you to two of my oldest Jamaican friends to play this thing with me. On trumpet, Eddie Thornton, Tan Tan. And on trombone, Rico Rodriguez.
Thank you. Uh, this next song doesn't need any introduction, so we ain't going to give it one. Every evening, when all my days were good, I call my baby and ask her what should we do. I make some moves. She don't see the big gap, and then she asks him, but all my business is too fat. And I'm so sorry, and let the evening pass by, but they get reference, which has a groovy hand back. I say, yeah, yeah. And that's what I say, I say, yeah, yeah. And that's what I say, my baby love her. She gets a feeling so fat, but when she loves her, she must be know that she's not. And when she kisses, I feel the fire get hot. She never misses, she gives it all that she's got. And when she asks me, if everything is okay, I got my answer. The only thing I can say, I say yeah, yeah. That's what I say, I say yeah, yeah. We'll play a melody and turn the lights down. We'll 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 turn the lights down. I knew she should thrill, it's hard to tell you, cause I tremble and still, but pretty baby, I want you off of my own, I'm even ready, she'll leave us others alone, don't ever ask me, if everything is okay, I got my answer, the only thing I can say, I say yeah, yeah, and that's what I say, I say yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do that. There'll be no one else. 
Life's alive and all the world's having you and me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty baby, I never knew should you feel it's hard to tell you. Cause I'm trembling still, but pretty baby, I want you off of my own. I'm even ready to leave those others alone. Don't ever ask me if everything is okay. I got my answer. The only thing I can say, I said, yeah, yeah. And that's what I say, I said, yeah, yeah. And that's what I say, I said, yeah, yeah. And that's what I say, I said, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Phone. Guy Barker on the trumpet. Well, our recording of that tune um, got us out of the flamingo, basically, and it allowed another band to come in and take over the residency. A band that, in my opinion, was the best British rhythm and blues band of that period without a doubt and it was led by my dear friend who I'm happy to introduce you to now ladies and gentlemen the one and only Zoop Money Pop. 
Bob Staples, they gave me this, and they told me to remember everybody. Keep reminding you that you can just tune into them anytime you like. And they'll make you so, they'll make your soul so right on high. That falsetto, I don't know where he gets it from. <laughs> We'd like to play a composition by Carol King and her husband at the time, Jerry Goffin. They wrote a lot of good tunes together. This one they may have written just before the divorce. It's called The Point of No Return. And I heard this record being played in a club where we played a lot. It was a Jamaican club in Carnaby Street before Carnaby Street became the fashion street that it was. And this club was run by a gentleman from Jamaica who had the best record collection of anybody I have ever met in my life. He was also the best disc jockey I ever heard in my life. And he was no mean dancer when he got the chance to. He was a fantastic dancer, and his name was Count Suckle, and he's right here. Yes, ma'am. Yes. 
Thank you. Uh, back in 1962, just about when we started to play down the flamingo, um, my next guest came to these shores and she had a part in a musical. Played in the West End of London for many, many weeks. It was called Black Nativity. And to uh, our great joy, she stayed. And she carved out a wonderful career for herself. Um, she was the number one call as a session singer for many, many years. And she was also a co-leader of the very successful band in the 60s and the 70s, Blue Mink. And she's going to sing a song which was composed by Steve Gray and myself, especially for her. I'm delighted to welcome one of our favorite singers and entertainers, Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Madeline Bell. Hi, y'all. Things I get up to 
things I ought not to. Nobody's business but mine. The blues and me, we get along fine. The room is hazy. The scene is crazy. Carrying on, it's really something. The band is jumping with party till dawn. A little daring, somewhat uncaring. And sway the night away. Just kill it tight. But the feeling is fine. Things I get up to, things I ought not to. In 1966, uh, we got a telephone call from an ad agency that was representing National Benzol Petrol. They wanted a piece of music that they could give away on a floppy disk to anybody that went in and bought four gallons of their petrol. And they were paying handsomely for this commission. And me and the band were actually in a television studio in Bristol, waiting our turn to do something. And uh, then I realized the studio had been booked in London at 10 o'clock the next morning for this song that I hadn't thought about. And I picked up the guitar and sort of strummed along in the dressing room. I think I thought of Bo Diddley. He deserves some of the royalties, really. Um, we drove back to London, and I stayed up all night and wrote out some lyrics and went to the studio at 10 o'clock the next morning and did it. In fact, it was all done so fast, I had to play guitar on the original recording. Uh, but when we were listening to the playback, you know, these guys from the ad agency and National Benzol and the management and the rest of the stuff, they're all sort of huddled in the back. And my producer, Denny Cordell, um, bless him, came over, sidled up to me as we were listening to the playback and said, you know, man, this is really good. This is actually very commercial. And it doesn't mention anything about petrol. 
So anyway, we put it out as a single, and eventually it went to number one, and uh, the BBC gave National Benzol Petrol thousands and thousands of pounds worth of free advertising before they realized what was happening. And this is my pension plan. Grab your partner, swing around, and do some do till you all fall down. <laughs> Gotta go. I hope you're ready, cause take a look outside. Don't mind the weather, girl. Let's take a ride. Get away. We'll leave the city folk. They'll have to stay. You don't have to back the thing. Just get away. We gotta go. Get away. Take a look at that deep blue sea. Don't you think it looks great? the scene in the sky and the sun won't wait I believe that the time is right don't let it slip away instead of dreaming about tomorrow you can live today if you get away vocalists in the business. Please welcome back Zoot Money and Madeline Bell. Thank you very much for your company. We're going to call some names, some names that Zoot didn't call. Stop moving 
up until the dawn. We had to keep moving on and on, on and on, on and on, on and on. I'm talking about. Yeah, and Brother Ray. And then we got Count 
basic with Joe Williams singing every day I have the blues. Next thing you know, it's six o'clock in the morning. You have to leave the club, walk upstairs, out on the water street. Where's the cabs? No cabs. You start walking, man. Down Shaftesbury Avenue. Up Piccadilly the wrong way. No underpass in those days. Through Ninth Bridge, you keep walking, man. You hit Cromwell Road. And you keep on walking. Until you hit West Cromwell Road. And if you can't get in, you keep on walking to Gunterstone Road. The girls are just coming back from work. You're hungry. You make some food. You have a little taste. Play a little music. And the next thing you know, oh boy, it's time to go back to work. Thank you.